I've been working with decoupage for many, many years. And uh, my last way of doing it is by decoupaging on glass. I think that is very interesting because it, it gives a three-dimensional effect. And that is quite important because you get a totally different depth in your decoupaging. Right now I'm making my bowls with winter leaves, uh, frosted leaves and berries and so on, and that is the theme of this bowl. What I do is I just put it on with some uh, angel tape. Then if I decide that it's good, then I start gluing the things on. But I glue them on on the back side. Now, this is what I've got. I've got a lot of glue here, and I need to get rid of that. And the air bubbles. What I'm doing now is I'm cutting up because I've got too much paper, as the paper won't bend just like the bowl. If I don't do that, I will have some very big bubbles underneath later on. Now the motif is finished and it's the cleaning procedure that is very important. I'm cleaning the glue off that I've been using when I, I stuck the uh, motif on. Now I'm going to find some paper to find a background for the leaves. Terribly boring. My favorite papers are the Japanese papers because the paper is so lovely to work with. It's nice and soft and very easy to shape, which is actually very important when you are working with decoupage. I think it's this. So now I'm going to measure up strips of paper in order to be able to glue them on in a reasonably uh, even way. Decoupage is a very old form of art and uh, is called the poor man's art because the poor man didn't have the possibility of buying real artwork so what the poor men and women did was to put cut out cuttings and, and making their own kind of artworks. You have to make sure that there are no gaps in between, that they are cover, that they, uh, the strips are on top of each other. Probably it, it uh, comes from Venice and uh, after that it has spread all over the world, even to, to Japan and, and China and so on. I'm cutting some of the materials off here because when there are so many layers on top of each other, it makes the bowl unstable. And uh, even uh, Queen Victoria started decoupaging. Then you can go on to, to the Danish Queen that is uh, decoupaging as well. Uh, there are quite a lot of, uh, of people that are doing that kind of work today. It, it's really funny because when you put your glue on, it's milk white. But when the, when the glue dries, it gets clear. So it's just a normal paper glue or glue that kids are using. Now I'm going to just put some glue on because you can see there are some little holes here and I want to make sure that they are covered with some glue as well. It seems to be steady. That's good. Okay, so I can leave it to rest now until tomorrow. I've chosen this paper to go on the outside of the bowl because I think it looks harmonious, it goes very well with the inside and I also think that it's going to go very well with the 
motifs that I'm going to put on later on. This is wrapping paper for gifts. Thin and bubbly and very easy to work with. So you can use all kinds of paper. My friends are joking with me because uh, when I get a, a gift, uh, I'm mostly more interested in the wrapping than in the actual gift. So they do a lot in order to make an, me an interesting kind of wrapping. Okay, so I will leave this one to dry now before I put my motifs on. Now I'm going to cover this bowl with a motif and uh, I have chosen this. The most important thing when you cut is not to leave any white around your motif because that will stand out later on and especially uh, in the inner side of the bowl but even on the outside. So cutting is very important it's key to any kind of decoupage. And what you do, if you have got a white dot in the middle of the motif, you just either cut it out or you color it with a, a pen in the same color that the, the motif, so that you can't see it anymore. I've decided to have the same motif on the outside as I've got in the inside. But before I do that, I just need to uh, cut off all this flimsy stuff. And I do that with a cutter, a scalpel. Now I'm gluing the paper at the edge in order to be sure that it doesn't open up because later on when I'm going to varnish this thing I need to know that the paper is really stuck to to the bowl. As I'm using varnish that is soluble in, in water uh, you can't put those uh, bowls into water but you can have water in them because it's just glass inside. But of course you have to make sure that that your pattern is sticking onto to the bowl. I think it's okay. Right now I'm working on the fourth layer of paper. And um, there is still a lot to come because when this bowl is dry, I'm going to varnish it and I'm going to varnish it at least 30 times because I want the outside to be just like glass. And that takes a lot of uh, layers. And uh, you have to let the, the varnish dry at least 24 hours before you put the next layer on. So this process is really very long. And um, I think that as well is a very interesting process because first you start with this very matte paper and then after two layers it's always starts shining. And that is very interesting because then you get the depth into the, your bowl and that is what's so interesting. So you have the depth on the outside and on the inside. Decoupage is uh, an assemblance of different kinds of material. And you try mostly to make a story out of the decoupage. It's, uh, um, it's important that, that there is a story behind it, in my opinion. And uh, to start a glass vase that is really see-through, and end up with something like this. I think that is really satisfying. 